Welcome back guys, welcome back to a brand new day for the TTG Worlds 2018 If you're watching live on Twitch, thanks so much for being here If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel and the video itself So, um, now we're moving on to Pikabulu, uh, we just had a sour experience against a Zorak deck to finish off um, Espion Carpenter But we did beat up two Pikabulus um, quite decently So. Um, quickly, just uh, taking, going back to the chat questions. Um, see Turkan, um, I could definitely do something like that. Um, it would be a bit hard to keep track of if a lot of people signed up for it. Um, but yeah, something like um, getting one card like every every six months or every even every three months uh, for the five tier could be decent. Like could be a a decent way to go about it. Um, um, would is that something you would be interested in doing? Like, would that be something that um, um, encourage you to keep uh, to to stay signed up for the Patreon? Because um, that sounds like reasonable. Instead of sending like four or five um, at once, sending one every three months, um, and, like making it. Uh, for everyone like grabbing uh, 50 of the same card and then uh, Sending it out to everyone that sounds reasonable actually that sounds very reasonable um, And yeah, Joe, I was thinking like Ralts, Rough Ruffs, uh, things like that things from decks I play that that sounds pretty cool um, And yeah, patreon.com slash table one if you guys want to check it out, um, but I will definitely be updating it um before the end of the month, so if you want to wait and see if you want to sign up for me, then that would be pretty cool. And yes, Pulu guys, it is Pulu time. Okay, so so we have Tapu Pulu GX, 180 HP, Horn Attack, 30 damage, Nature's Judgment, 120, and we get to decide or we get to choose if we discard all of the energy or not. If we do, we deal 60 extra damage, so 180 total, and then with a choice band, we manage to hit for 210 damage, which um, coincidentally is more than enough to not, well, it's just enough rather, to knock out um, things like Zorak GX, Gold is up at GX, and because of weakness, we don't even need to discard to knock out um, Lycanroc GX. Uh, Lucario GX, I guess, is another 210 HP Pokemon that we managed to knock out with Nature's Judgment and the choice band. So that's the reason why this card is really good. And then finally we have Tapu Wilderness GX, which deals 150 damage, and we get to heal um, all the damage on Bulu. And then with a choice band, it becomes 180, which is also a pretty decent number to one hit heal basic GXs um, out of the 190 range. Then um, we have the Vicovolt, which is the whole reason why this deck uh, can work. We have Strong Charge, which, um, Allows you to search your deck for a grass and a lightning energy um, and attach them to one of your Pokemon in a, well to any of your Pokemon in any way you like. So you can attach both to one or one to uh, uh, to two different Pokemon. Um, the Electro Cannon attack um, is decent, but it's a bit too costly for energy. And then you discard three. Um, you you get better return of your investment, if you will, by using Tapu Bulu. Um, but the ability is the reason why Tapu Bulu becomes viable. Now, for support, we're using two Tapu Lilies, one Ranguru, and then one Mew. Um, just one Mew, the free retreat is very nice. <coughs> and then its ability, Memories of Dawn, allows you to copy um, any attacks as long as Mew has the necessary energy. It allows it to copy any attacks from your basic Pokemon on the bench, or in play, rather. Um, so you get to basically attack as a Tapu Bulu, what with a non-GX, a very fragile non-GX, but a non-GX nonetheless. Um, Supporters-wise, we have four Sycamore, two N, two Skyla, and two Cynthia, along with one Lily for um, support. And then um, Triple Guzma is really cool to make sure we target the right Pokemon. Um, four Ultra Ball, four Rare Candy, and four Choice Band, key components to the deck to make sure that we set up and that we're hitting the right numbers. Triple Field Blower as anti carburetor measure, um, Double Nest Ball, Single Heavy Ball to help us um, set up even further, 
the one float stone I feel like is uh, a big deal for the deck so that you don't have to waste energy retreating Pika Bolt and then the two energy recycler which are very important to put energy back and therefore um, and therefore uh, keep attacking with Tapu Bulu by discarding the energy. Um, seven grass, four lightning rounds out the deck and so let's jump into a ladder and see what we can do with Bika Bulu ourselves. Um, and Manchas, thank you so much for your support. Um, yeah guys, if anyone wants to um, support through there, it really helps out. And you can sign up for one, for two, for five, for however much you want. And I will be updating the Patreon page uh, before the end of the month. So it would be great for you to sign up by the end of April so that by May we can start with um, the rewards, which would be pretty cool. Okay, with the new rewards rather, um, which include access to a, a Patreon and Twitch sub only Discord also um, giveaways at the end of the month amongst all the supporters from twitch and patreon along with um, possibly coaching and other sorts of stuff and signed cards signed cards as well Okay, so we start Bulu, uh, we do have an Ultra Ball to search out a Grubbin, we are going second, but um, we have a, an opening to knock out this Rockruff on turn one. <laughs> if Patron had bits, you'd probably be in trouble with several long charts too, I think. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. And hello in just a god, I think I missed saying goodbye. I mean hello to you, not goodbye. <laughs> hello. Okay, so my opponent leads with a Kukui and decides to play a Prowl CD to protect his Rock Ruff. Um, so it looks like his hand is not very good. Probably doesn't have another supporter or another basic Pokemon, which is very sad. And is forced to play the one puzzle of time, right? He's not double puzzling for Kukui. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I thought, okay. I thought it showed double puzzle here, but it actually doesn't. Okay. Ooh. Uh, this is. This is a weird hand. Like, if we just Ultra Ball and pass, we have the turn to Vika Bolt. But then my opponent might actually just knock out the Grubbin. I feel like the chance to dunk is just too big here to pass up on. It's just too tempting. Um, now we need Field Lower and uh, Grass, not just the Grass. But we're still gonna try. There's a grass and no field lower. Fair enough. That's okay though. That is okay because the nest ball gives us another grubbin and then the ultra plus lele combination does give us um, rare candy Vika Volt. So we should have knockout whether it, this be a rock rough or a lichen rock. We shall see. We shall see. Now, hopefully the end gave my opponent a better hand. Yeah, there's a Bridget, so it's not gonna be a super short game. It's not gonna be a super short game, which is good, I feel. Triple Zerua. The Brawl City is now essentially hurting him. Maybe not really. <laughs> Walkers and Viva Paw Patrol. Yeah, Paw Patrol is what some people like to name that deck. Uh, okay, so my opponent decides to field blower away the stadium. Plays an Ultra Ball. Is going for a Lele, I would imagine. Yeah. He already played a supporter though, so he won't be able to play it this turn. Uh, 
<laughs> rip one turn KO. Yeah, we didn't get it because of the parallel. Lele for Sycamore, that's fine. Because there's no more threat of another Rockruff, I generally wouldn't mind GXing this Rockruff. Um, just to make sure that um, we don't lose the Tapu Pulu. Okay, so the Skyla is in there. We can Skyla for Rare Candy. Oh, there's two Rare Candies priced. There are two Rare Candies priced. I feel like I'm gonna GX here. Um, I'll rarely find better opportunities to GX, honestly. Um, and then I get to keep a Sycamore in my hand, which is fine. And Manchas, thank you so much for the cheers, for the bits. Thank you so, so much. Coming through as per usual. Thank you so much. Um, Joe Bro, Manchas, and the White Snake have definitely come through today. Thank you guys so, so much. Okay, uh, now we strong charge, and I do feel like, because if we don't GX, um, if we just knock out the rocker, like if I had a bench type of Wulu, maybe I'd be okay with doing that, uh, but by using the GX, there's absolutely no humanly possible way for my opponent to knock out my type of Wulu next turn. I won't be able to heal it in consecutive turns, but that feels okay. Um, I think seeing Paw Patrol being used to describe the deck brought back memories of Lonzo Ark. Uh, yeah, like, when people said that, I'm not familiar with basketball, so I thought it meant, like, Lone Zork, like, just a Zork deck on its own. That's what made sense to me in my head, uh, but it was apparently Lonzo Ark because of the basketball player, but I had no idea. And, yeah, I also did, like... I knew the cartoon existed, but it took me a while to <laughs> figure out that Paw Patrol was like a play on words because of that. 320 damage Rock Ruff just KO'd. Yep, <laughs> that's how we do it here. <laughs> that's how we do it. Okay, so no reason to play the parallel before trading. Simple mistake uh, by my opponent, not too impactful, but could have been. I don't know why my opponent was in such a hurry to field lower his parallel and bench the Lele and grab the Sycamore. Um, so we are going to see a Righteous beating here, that's fine. Um, we top deck a Pulu, which is very nice. That allows us to thin here. And now we're looking for field lower plus choice band. We have three copies of field lower. We have only three copies of choice band because one is in the discard pile. And we only managed to get the choice band. Okay, so not ideal. Definitely not ideal. I feel like I'm just gonna nature's judgment. I will likely lose this Pulu. If I don't, that's fine. If I don't lose it, that's fine. Um, I can just recharge it. Um, but yeah, we really wanted that field lower. So my opponent will trade, 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 trade. And... <laughs> the truth, yeah, that's been... Um, that's because Ross Cotton really likes the X-Files and they're always looking for the truth there. So because he was so close to being world champion and like that was arguably one of the best and most creative decks ever created. Um, that's why he called the deck the truth. <laughs> yeah, Joe Roy was surprised too when I found out. Why was what named like that, C Turgan? Lundzorg? I have no idea why they associated it with um, with Zorark. Maybe because Zorark and then Lonzo, so the Z O. Um, I generally thought it was because Lone, like L O N E, Zorark. Turns out that was not the case. Okay, so see, my opponent played one puzzle of time and it showed double. And now he's playing, I assume, double puzzle and it's still double. And hello, Emilianix, and hello, Alan. Thank you guys so much for being here. 
Uh, my opponent, yep, picks up the choice band to get the knockout and picks up a puzzle of time. Um, I'm okay with this trading, I think, for now. Wait, what? Okay. So my opponent decides to lose the DT and try to save himself from getting knocked out this turn. Which is fair, I guess. It's fair. Yeah, right? Lone Zoark makes a lot more sense than Lonzo. Like, if you don't know about basketball, how could you ever figure that out? Um, I guess making the deck thicker is not appealing, because I really need that um, field lower. Still doing a strong charge. Uh, strong charge both? Yeah, strong charge both. Grass here, lightning here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The white snake. Okay. I'm gonna heavy ball. I don't wanna grab the Vika Bolt because I think I'm gonna Sycamore here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna Sycamore. The Ultra Ball will grab me. Or Angura now. I do have triple field lore. So the question is do I need to energy cipher? I think I definitely do. I think I definitely do wanna energy recycler. So the question is do I instruct? I feel like I should. Even if I draw energy, it should be fine. And okay, perfect. I got the field lore off the top. So now I might not even Sycamore here. <laughs> I might actually not Sycamore. Kuzma. That would be the second Kuzma that I've lost. Um, Yeah, I mean, I'm just always going to want to knock out whatever is active, so I'll just say come work here. No reason not to. Well, there is there is a reason not to do it, but... Uh, I'll keep the grass in my hand. I feel like I just... I can't play the floatstone. Nah. Let's just nature's judgment here. Yeah, let's just nature's judgment for the knockouts. And uh, Jobro... Uh, yeah, I saw the I saw the list. Thank you so much for sending, for letting me know. I saw that it was uploaded um, to Poke Beach. Thank you so much. I just wanted to work on my buy list, but like making sure um, the things I wanted were actually in the set. <laughs> yeah, the truth definitely had um, real meaning to it. Okay, so we see a Rockruff, we see a Zerua. Losing the Guzma, I'm not a huge fan of, of the fact that I lost the Guzma. Not a huge fan about that. So question, do any of you guys know when does Forbidden Light get uploaded to PTCGO? It's probably gonna be on May the 4th, right? Okay. May the 4th be with you. Yeah, on May the 4th be with you. <laughs> okay, so I'm really glad I saved the Floatstone in case my opponent has Field Blower. Oh, he's gonna corner me. Well, that's not very nice. Well, it's fine because I have Rare Candy V Gold. It's fine because I have rare candy pika bolt. Um so I won't even need to retreat the Vika Bolt. I can Ultra Ball away the Grubbin and the N. And I knock out this Vika Bolt and then all I need is my last Kuzma. Um or a GX knockout, whatever works. <laughs> Yay Star War puns. <laughs> Yeah, May 4, so that day I'll be flying to Utah, ah, which is expanded. Maybe I should skip Utah so I can stream the new sets. Okay, I will be getting rid of all of my energy pretty much by doing it this way. Um, yikes. Yeah, it's just, there's a, there's a regional that day, I mean the weekend. So, would I would I skip it to stream that? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. 
because everybody's going to want to stream it. I would just leave everything ready so that when I'm back Monday, I can make sure I stream all of the new text. Okay, so I definitely knock out here. I feel like I also float stone. Like I should also float stone. How many lightnings? One, two, three. And the fourth is here. Okay, I'm gonna float stone this guy. If my opponent ends me, I'm in a lot of trouble. Because I only have these two energy left. I feel like I definitely have to do this. Even though it's not like very optimized, I think I had to do that. So I'm gonna Electro Cannon. <laughs> yeah, the regional is in Utah. Uh, not the lightning, the grass. Um, the regional is in Utah. Salt Lake City. And it's expanded, that's the annoying part. Okay, another energy helps us. And we have our Anguru. So we should be okay here, I feel. Should be okay. We see a puzzle of time, so we're gonna see the old puzzle. Um, the only way beakable, uh, maybe I shouldn't have attached the float stone to the active. That was silly. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have attached the float stone to the bench. I should have either kept it or attached it to the active. Okay, we have a chance to, at getting N, I guess. I mean, not N, Kuzma. <laughs> there it is. So that's game. That is game. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Expanded either, but um, it works. Um, if I go, well, I'm, I think I'm definitely going. Um, what would I be running? I'm considering Sylvian again. It seems like it would be fun to use Sylvian and Expanded. Um, okay, so this should be game, right? And no Protissimo, no hay Mundial de Expanded. There's no expanded worlds. Every world championship so far has been standard. And yeah, well played to my opponent. So yeah, like you can reasonably expect Beagle to beat Zoartex, but you can't expect to beat... Um, you can't expect to beat something like Espion Carpenter, and then Espion Carpenter probably has a bad Zoark matchup, so you have that weird circle or triangle going on rather and hello Paul thanks so much for being here all good just hanging out here with you guys okay so that was the first game for Pikapoo right so let's do one more game was that the first one or the second one I'm not sure <laughs> yeah we'll just do another one probably won't have time to do Zora counter energy today though guys and this will probably be the last game of the stream. And then hopefully tomorrow I'll have more time to stream. Let me check my schedule for coaching. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow should be a much easier day in terms of um, streaming. So as long as I wake up early, <laughs> that's usually the, the determining factor. If I wake up early and I go running and then I come back and shower and then I'm ready to stream. Okay, so we flip heads, we get to go first, which is awesome. That's really, really awesome. And then we start grubbing, which is not as awesome. Our hand, bleh. We would love to Sycamore just to see more cards, but we're only gonna have to Cynthia here. We're gonna have to Cynthia. We do get a lot of... We're up against Kalisa, but Zork, which is good. Well, it's a difficult matchup. If they know how to play it, it's a difficult matchup. Um, hopefully the triple mulligans help us here. Triple mulligans should help us. Okay, I would like all three, yes. Ooh, Lele. Okay. Ah, uh, Lele doesn't guarantee anything though. I mean, it guarantees a Bulu. 
Lele guarantees a Bulu, but that's pretty much it. Or a second Grubbin. And then Kuzma gets a Grubbin out of there, but I feel like that might be too slow. It would be so sad to just send all of these cards away though. Especially with a rare candy already there. Um, what do I recommend picking up from Forbidden Light? Ultra Necrozma's, Malamar's, um, Diancy Prism, Beast Energy Prism. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna Cynthia here. It's really sad, but it's not my hand is just not very playable. Um, what else? Naganadel and Poipol. Oh gosh, we got the Energy Cycler and the Energy once again. That's so horrible. <laughs> um, Naganadel and Poipol. Um, the Greninja GX line seems interesting, but it's definitely underwhelming compared to the actual Greninja. Um, what else? Let me check what I put on my buy list. Uh, the unit energy, um, the mystery treasure, or what's the name? Uh, the, yeah, mystery treasure, beast ring, definitely beast ring. Um, Zygarde GX, um, the fighting type Garchomp line. Um... Uh, Ultra Space, and then that's like I got the 70 HP Rockruffs as well. Ugh, so our hand is very awkward here. The hand is generally very awkward. I'm gonna Skyla for a Nest Ball to get a Pulu, and then I'm gonna hope. Uh, okay. What I can actually do, if I get a second Grubbin, ooh, there's two Grubbins priced. <laughs> Yikes. There's two Grubbins. I already Skylit, so I can't Sickle more this turn. Ugh, this is so bad. I feel like I have to go into Pulu. And then do it this. Let's retreat. Choice Band, Energy Recycler for the two Grass, and then Instruct for two. Okay, Lele and Grass. Um, depending on what we top deck, that could signify knockout on a GX. Um, Featuring is rara, va a estar difícil de conseguir. No creo, no creo la verdad. Um, todo bien, Max Rock para Brasil aquí preparándonos, jugando mucho. Uh, it's a yeah, best stream, definitely. Um, you're all in on the Ultra Beast stuff. Naganadel GX seems like fun. Yeah, Naganadel seems like fun. Um, the issue is it caps its damage, and then Beast Prism energy is only a one off in the deck. Like with Beast Prism, a full bench of Ultra Beasts and a Choice Band, you're hitting 180, which is kind of underwhelming as well. Like that gets you knocked on Lele, but that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it at the moment. I mean, I guess that knocks knocks out Pulus as well. And Drampa, and Taurus, and Volcanion. Um, but like, those aren't as popular as the stage one GXs. That's what I mean. So you always fall, sh fall short. You need Kukui, Beast Prism, and Choice Band. And then once the Beast Prism is gone, your damage becomes underwhelming. En un unboxing solo salió una P-string, wow. Ok, si <laughs> sí, eso no son buenas noticias. Ok, so Grubbin, top deck, very nice. Energy here, and then Sycamore. And yeah, guys, um, Tilt of Village is doing its, um, is doing its pre-sale for Forbidden Light. Um, in case you want to check it out, they have pretty competitive prices, I believe. Okay, so we Sycamore into seven unplayable cards. That's never nice. That is never very nice. Yeah, it's just our setup is taking way too long. We need to top deck Thika Vault. And even then, we're not good. Unless my opponent doesn't armor press here. 
If my opponent GX knocks out this Bulu, we are in trouble. Okay, but he just ends. That's good. He does have triple Zork, though. <laughs> he does have triple Zork. Um, wow. What are these hands? What are these hands? He was sold out for the Kalisabad. Um, <laughs> that's okay, Kirby. Y cómo están los precios? Me imagino que querías poner manchas eh, bastante competitivos también, bastante competitivos me parece. Pero todavía no tienen singles de eh, Forbidden Light, solo cajas y cases por ahora. Okay, so my opponent will GX knock out the Pulu. Um, I don't think there's anything we can top deck to save us here. It's just the clunk, the the inherent clunkiness of the deck is gonna. It's gonna do us in. And yeah, Tama Drummer, exactly. The PTC Jail Curse. Sycamore into seven unplayable cards. Wow. Ooh, wow. <laughs> okay. That was. That was an interesting top deck. That might have saved us here. Um, okay. I really, really. Really? Tama Drummer, thank you so much for the cheers. Thank you so, so much for the bits. The White Snake, also, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you to both of you. Just in time. Thank you so, so much. It's like you guys coordinated efforts. Okay, I am at a loss here as to what to do. I can't knock out the Golisabed because it armor pressed. So if I GX, I force him to GX. That would be pretty sad. I feel. So I'm gonna do... It's just even attaching the choice land feels bad. But I need to draw cards, right? I definitely need to draw cards. I'll attach... The grass to the... Pulu, the lightning to the Picabolt. <laughs> And then instruct for one, which will be a field lower, which is completely, completely useless at this point. So do I GX? If I had gotten Kuzma, that would have been amazing. Uh, oh, there's a bug. <laughs> do we abuse the bug? No, we don't abuse the bug. That would be unsportsmanship, like... <laughs> That would be on sportsmanship, like if we abuse the bug. So, yeah, the thing is, my opponent used armor press. So, and we know this. The game is currently bugged to where armor press doesn't protect. Um, armor press doesn't protect the damage, but we want to play it fair. So. Okay, I'm not gonna GX. I'm not gonna GX. I'm gonna save that. Eh, I don't know why I even needed to save it. It's fine. <laughs> You're waiting for your next paycheck, the White Snake. Yeah, so we chose to be um, good sports here and not abuse the bug on PCGO. We chose to be good guys. Um, Eder, definitivamente iré al regional de México. Me queda 15 minutos de mi casa, entonces está perfecto. Uh, Field Lord, the choice band. I don't think I need to do that. I don't think I need to do that. Um, the choice band is not relevant. It prevents a float zone from being attached. He can knock. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> If I had, I mean, my opponent has triple trade and all those cards. If I had field lord and healed, maybe I prevented the knockout. That is true. Um, but with such a big hand, I would expect my opponent to have double puzzle. But yeah, that is true. I could have done that. <laughs> Manchas, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Manchas is eager for a pit war. A small pit war, apparently. <laughs> small bits. Yeah, I should have healed. 
She have healed and field lord. No reason not to, right? Okay, we see an armor press. Interesting. So now Vika Volt can actually knock this guy out. And we top deck a choice band, not too relevant. <laughs> when does use internets usually open for registration? I would assume it will open after Brazil. So around May, at some point in May. Um, that's what I'm guessing. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the bits. Thank you guys so, so much for the bits. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Paul. You're completely right. You are completely right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for the bits. Okay, I'm gonna strong charge. I'm, I am losing a lot of energy and I already used one energy recycler. Um, but hey, we're getting knockouts, right? That's the important thing. And then Vika Volt will be safe. Guaranteed will be safe. And there we see a Lily. I'm not gonna feel lower my own choice band. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Now things are looking a lot better. Now things are definitely looking a lot better. The issue is we are running out of energy fast. Three energy in the discard, I mean in the deck, four energy in play, that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So non are prized, that's good to know. I could power up this guy right here. Um, the issue is gonna be retreating this big old. Like, I might just never retreat it, I might just let it go down, which wouldn't be horrible. It generally wouldn't be horrible. That was a really good Lily. That might give us enough room to recover. And I'll discard these three. And then we'll draw two prizes. Grubbin and Grubbin. <laughs> A little late for the for the Grubbins. But we're just gonna discard them with Sycamore, so it's fine. Our deck is actually getting pretty thin, which is good. Floatstone Slaley. I guess, yeah, I definitely should have played that GX turn, assuming he would have missed. There's a choice man immediately though, so... Maybe saving the choice man, maybe we'll be rewarded by saving the GX attack. <laughs> Thank you, Manchas. Thank you so much for the bits. Thank you so much. Joe Bro is very far ahead of you guys though. Very far ahead. <laughs> I love the 501 bits. Okay. We can see a trade. Um, ¿Crees que Garchomp sea una buena opción para el canal? Eh, Eder, pues todavía falta una expansión por salir y falta ver cómo se adapta el metajuego ante la expansión. Entonces, difícil saber hoy, 18 de abril, qué va a ser bueno jugar el 24 de junio. Pero, pero quizá el Garchomp puño sea suficiente para hacer mejor al deck. Eh, O quizá no, ¿no? Eh, la debilidad planta podría podría afectarle. Eh, ¿Cuánto que manchas? Ok, so my opponent is gonna Kuzma. Ok, this is, oh my gosh. We are going to be rewarded here for saving our GX attack. My opponent not only saved us by playing that Kuzma, which is amazing. Um, like, I have no complaints about that. I can bench the Mew, I'm gonna GX. Oh, the Wimpa though. The Wimpa. Okay. The Wimpa is annoying. I would love to end here if possible, but it's looking very unlikely. And my third type of bull is prized as well. <laughs> so things are really not going well for us today. Um, like my last prize might actually be Kuzma, Vika Volt, Knockout on Lele. I feel like maybe I should start preparing for that. Because we might just lose the the bull next turn. Oh no, never mind. My opponent doesn't have energy on Wimput. What am I saying? He can't. Yeah, never mind. Never mind, guys. Saving the GX is gonna definitely pay off here, which is great. 
Believe in the heart of the cards. Ya. Yeah. Ah, lo, está hasta arriba. Joe Bro lleva 501. Tú manchas llevas 250. Y The White Snake lleva 225. Ok. Um, the Energy Recycler is great too. Ok. This game just got essentially fixed. This game just got really nicely fixed. I'm just gonna tap a wilderness here. So saving the GX that I chose not to waste, well not waste, but I, that I chose not to use earlier on, actually ends up paying off. And now we have double Guzma to pick off something on the bench. My opponent can't armor press, even though it doesn't apply. Um, yeah, I think we got this Kirby. I think you're right. I think we got this. Um, we might need to have some decent draws of uh, consecutive ends, but it's looking very good for us. It is generally looking very good for us. Okay, energy on on Wimput is fine by me. Uh, we're gonna see a stretcher for Golisopod. What are the chances that my opponent ends me? He has triple end in the discard pile, so he needs to double puzzle for it. I don't think there's any scenario where he doesn't double puzzle for the end though. Do we need to double puzzle for N and probably choice band? That trade probably signifies he's digging for the puzzle piece. That N probably signifies the puzzle piece. Okay. Has already traded twice. And there's the puzzles. Yep. <laughs> there you go, Manchez. That that does it. Now you're at 609. So 100 above Joe, bro. <laughs> and I love the MX. Yeah. Viva Mexico. Okay. So double puzzle. When your opponent plays just one puzzle, it also shows us double puzzle here. So we can never know, I guess, if our opponent is playing double puzzle or just one. Like we can never know for sure. We can just make assumptions based on the situation. And right now, based on so many cards and the fact that he traded, it has to be. Like there's no reason to rearrange your bottom three cards. Oh, he goes for Floatstone and Field Blower. What? Floatstone? Why would you go for the field blower? You're from Puerto Rico. Thank you so much for watching, Kirby. Appreciate the kind words. Okay. Wow, that's... The parallel city is annoying. The parallel city is annoying. And he also got rid of the Lele. So now... We only have one field blower left. However, yeah. <sighs> Zorak has resistance to Mew. And, like, we would need to manually retreat and attack with the Mew. I, I still feel like that's the right play, though. I still feel like that's the right play. And then we're hoping, we are definitely hoping that um, our last prize card is not the last Tapu Fulu. That's all I want, guys. That is all I'm asking for. I'm gonna end my plan. Like, I already had the choice, man. It was guaranteed, so I'm just gonna manually retreat. And then we have double Kuzma for next turn. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting closeout to the, to the match, but we're gonna Nature's Judgment. Elizabeth does not resist Psychic, so Mew will be able to get a knockout here. And please. Ultra Ball. Yeah, there's a Tapu Bulu. Okay, so that's good news-ish. Um, the bad news is we're still missing a Choice Band. That's the bad news. <laughs> you missed a bit. What do you mean, the White Snake? Yeah, I met I met some people from Puerto Rico at Charlotte Regionals. They were very nice. They were very funny.
Okay, so we see a Kuzma. Can I go after the Pulu? That's fine, because we got the Pulu out of our prize cards. I want... Oh. Oh, I don't have any more choice bands. Yikes. That's okay. I can two-shot Zorks, no problem. Right? My opponent shouldn't bench anything else. One card left. What's with the Lucario and your Zora Lucario video? Uh, Win-win. So... For whatever reason, Pokemon hasn't uploaded the Lucario GX um, high resolution image to their to their database online. So I asked if anyone had one and no one has the, the image, right? No one has that image. So um, this person uh, offered to draw one in exchange of using it for the thumbnail. And so that's what he drew and that's what I put. It's just like a, a silly joke. Um, just a silly joke um, it's like ironic because for some reason they just haven't Lucario GX was released how long ago a month ago and they still haven't put the image which is weird okay so I'm gonna hit this arc I'm not gonna discard the energy I have no more energy left I literally have zero energy left I'm gonna play the Skyla see if my opponent no, he's not gonna concede. He he can count that I have four choice bands, right? <laughs> um, okay, I just played this Kyla to get it out of the way. I have Kuzma, so I can never get trapped. My opponent is also gonna take himself out before I will. So we should be fine here. You can hunt down wherever any of the Zor, wherever the damage Zor goes. So that's the explanation, win-win. <laughs> yeah, I hope everything is okay after what happened in Puerto Rico. That was definitely a, a bad situation. Reminded me of the earthquake from Mexico City a few months ago. Okay, so this will probably be one of the last few turns. Maybe I should have played the field lower to thin. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. N and rescue stretcher. Interesting. N to one is fine. When when how far am I from Puerto Rico? Very far. Very far. I'm in Mexico City. I'm right in the middle of Mexico. Okay, Coco, Oranguru, and Wimput. I disagree with that play, because I'm down to one prize card. So all I need is a Kuzma, and he has not seen me play a single Kuzma, with 11 cards left. So attachment, retreat for N. I guess he's looking to, to hit KO the, the Tapu Pulu. I guess that's what he's looking for. Because otherwise hitting for 60, then he would need to remove the own, his own uh, stadium. Okay, and the card we get is Kuzma, so we're gonna just hunt down that Zoar again. Yeah, he needs to knock out Bulu eventually, I guess. Um, but like, he would get a choice band back then. The field lower he got back was really weird. I guess he expected he would need to remove the, the stadium at some point. Uh, but yeah, now we can just target down either uh, <laughs> double Guzma. We can target down either Zoark or um, Coco for our last prize card. So wow, I'm generally very surprised. I'm generally very surprised. Um, he he puts an upside face, but we had not used a single Kuzma this game. Our deck was 10 cards. We had and Guru, and uh, we also had access to Lelys as well in theory. So yeah, pretty good. Um, pretty good showing for Vika Vulu in the Zoark matchups for sure. Um, Pretty good showing for the deck. Um, if you're expecting a big Zorak presence at any given tournament, uh, Pika Bulu is definitely a deck to consider. So yeah, guys, this will be all for today. Um, not as long of a stream as I would like, but tomorrow hopefully we'll be able to go on for longer. Um, thank you all of you for hanging out 
um, especially the people who sent a few bits our way always appreciate it and yeah this will be all for me today guys if you're watching on youtube don't forget, to, don't forget to leave a like it really helps out the channel and if you watched here live um, on twitch thank you so much for hanging out guys i will definitely see you tomorrow for more um, standard action as we are now in the run or in the lead up to brazil so probably won't be able to stream whilst i'm there um because obviously i won't have the new computer over there um but i will make sure there are videos on the channel every single day whilst i'm gone even on weekends so you can check that out for sure um kirby send me a list on twitter if you want and then maybe i can even retweet it or um, you can send it to me on Facebook to the Tailwoman page. And the White Snake, thanks so much for the last cheers or the last bits. Thank you so so much. Look at the cup; it's it's super super full. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you Manchester. Thank you Joe Bro. And thank you the White Snake. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.